Hello guys, today I will show you a proper way how to use a cooler and PC architect. First of all, I want to show you my PC build. And there is a Lexon processor with 2.4 GHz and I will try to make it faster. Also there is a cooler, RAID 1, it's the cheapest one in this game. And uh, at now I will show you a benchmark, no limits benchmark, how this computer performs in this benchmark. And as you can see, we have 20,165 score. And first place, that's nice, reward is $17. And let's move on and remove this old cooler. And I would like to buy a new one, more powerful with more airflow rating. Let's go to the eShop and click on CPU coolers. Scroll down. This is my old one, rate one for $12 and this is Mortar Hydra will be my new one for a $200 with airflow rating 18. That's a lot. Let's unbox it from that crate and put it inside in the computer. Now we have much lower temperature for 7 degrees in Celsius. And let's overclock it to the 2. Point, uh, maybe 2.7 gigahertz. And your power supplier must be powerful enough to provide the energy for your processor. And success. We have a overclocked processor with 2.7 gigahertz. A bit faster than we have before. And you need to take a look at the temperature. As you can see that now we have 59 degrees and before we had 47. That means that you need a cooler with, which is powerful enough to cool down your processor. And now let's test it in the same benchmark as we did before. And let's find where is no limit benchmark. There is it. No limit mean that means that there is no limit for a computer budget in this benchmark. And we have 21,397 score. And maybe you can remember that before we had 20,156 in No Limits Bench. And at now we have 21,397. That means that processor overclocking really affects our computer performance in a better way. 